Welcome back to Dark Cloud 2. In the last episode, in case you missed it, I should say the last uncut episode, I went through a four-hour grind session and still didn't accomplish the goal. But at least we got through these last two floors that we needed to get through. So now we're going to go uh, for the chamber of the defending wind gem and see what we've got. Now, although I didn't accomplish the objective I really wanted to accomplish, I did manage to... I'm sorry, I was just struck by Lapis Garter. I did manage to upgrade several uh, weapons significantly. We're just not quite where we need to be with Monica's magic still. So again, rather than worrying about this nonsense, we're just gonna make Steve handle it. Wow, he's got some uh, beef to him. And he's not as disrupted as most enemies are, but just like that, we're good to go. Good job, Steve. Way to play. All right, let's snap a picture of the altar. And we'll grab ourselves the gem that we need. It's two down, two to go. So before we go to the next one, I'm going to head back to the forest because I forgot that Sindane is not 100%ed yet. And I want to see if we have all the requirements we need to 100% it. I'm pretty sure we do at this point. So, let's see here. Head to Sindane. There's an achievement for 100%ing all the city sites, and I, I thought there was one more, but maybe we're done with the cities already. Alright, let's check the geostones here. Uh-huh, don't need to worry about that. Ooh, fence around Furbit's house. Is that it? Elder Drex branch restored, fence around Furbit's house, that'll trigger that. And a resident in a straw house. Okay. Um, so we're going to need to make a butt-ton of fences and a butt-ton of... Well, one. <laughs> straw house. Um... Ah, jeez. Alright, I'll be right back so I can go get some supplies. We're gonna need a lot of rolling logs, too. I better make sure I've got plenty. I'm really hoping that the money we got, at least, from the last four-hour grind was enough to really give us some effort here. Oh, I don't have... I'll have to go back to repair Steve. I'll have to go to the city. Uh, Heimrata. All right. Hey, Conda. Let's see what we got here. Eh, I could use some more rolling logs. Ooh, 23 grand? Holy shit. Yeah, all that grinding has paid off for us. Um, let's see. Sticky clay we're kind of low on. Let's get 40 of that. And bundle of hay, we'll get 40 of that. And we'll get some sturdy rocks. There we go. Now we've got lots of Georama parts. That means I'm also going to have to relocate the house. That's going to be a pain in the ass for my personal save to relocate the Furbit's house because of what I did to it. Where is the Furbit's house here? Oh, it's over here. Um... Just continue from there. All right, so the Furbit's house is in a bit of an inconvenient spot if I need to put a fence around it. So we're gonna have to move it, which is fine by me. Um, what I'm gonna do is make a few more trees, which this is totally pointless other than my own fun bit here. But like, I wanna fill in some of this area here. Yeah, let's let's make this wildly inconvenient at the end of the river. Come on, where was that spot? There we go. And then we'll put a tree here and a tree here. Nice little forest going. Okay, so now we'll put the Furbit's house over here. Um, sure. Let's put it at a slight angle. Oh, I already have 14 wooden fence pieces. That's cool. Hopefully, a gate 
counts? I think it does because if you recall, I think I put it in the main, in, in the cut episodes, but I had to do a house for Sheriff Blinkhorn and he required a fence and a gate as well. And it counted even though it doesn't close off entirely. So I'm hoping this counts. So I guess we'll see. Um, is that on the right spot? Yeah, it's on the right spot. Okay. So we just need to run the fence around the house and hopefully that will be enough. And if it's not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's that. All right, so let's make another probably 15 or so, 16. Where's the wooden fence? Let's make 16. There is an upper limit to how many I can place. We found that out in one episode, but I don't think I'm gonna reach that doing this. Is that, is that the correct angle? Ooh, shit. Need like four more. Why can I only make three? I can only make 99 of this part. Okay. Well, hopefully exactly 99 is all I need. All right, let's move the gate. So that means it must keep track of how many total parts you have made of any particular thing. That's interesting. I didn't know, it. I did not know that. All right, let's kind of, okay. Yeah, that looks nice and prominent. And let's get a couple of pot torches going to further give it some uh, prominence. It is the furbits after all, we have to protect the furbits. Uh, come on, one there. Yeah, the angle's slightly off. Whatever. All right, let's see if that counts. It does count. We just need a resident in the straw house. Okay. So, did I not make a straw house? Guess not. All right, so... Uh, like here. Cool. So now it doesn't matter who goes in there. Um, actually, that's convenient that I did that because there were a few characters I looked up who are recruitable that I think would be really useful for me. So we can go after one of them. Um, stand by for a second. I'm not going to cut here. I think I was looking at either Donnie, who does have some good uh, things that he gives, or Kareen. Kareen gives you angel coins and sells hair ornaments. I want to see what the hair ornaments are. I want to see what the hair ornaments are. All right, so we're going to head over to Paul and Brinks and get her before we go to the future. So this might be a this might be a town building episode since we're already seven and a half minutes deep. Oh, leave me alone, developers. I keep getting emails from developers about their games. Which is a good problem to have. Alright. Uh, in order to recruit, recruit Kareen, the player must find her three times in a game of hide-and-seek. Kareen can first be found in the upstairs of Morton's house, which we did. She can then be upstairs in Claire's house, which is next to Max's house, which we did. After finding her a second time, she will move to Max's room. Max's room? She's in her Max's room. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to Max's room right quick. Aren't we, Max? Need to look into making the last couple things I wanted to make, too. The machine gun arm four, I believe, is available. Yes, we can, in fact, make it now. I don't... We've got the money that we can probably afford whatever it costs as well. So it needs... Oh, shit. Let's get all the ideas moved in. There we go. 
Trying to do like too many things at once, as always. Alright, so in order to make this, I need the drum can, which I don't know if I've got that. Yep, drum can, propeller, and wind gem altar. Specifically, the wind gem altar. Okay, now the question is, can I make two of them? Can I even make one of them? I wonder what they cost. Ten silver balls and a ruby. I don't know if gems are buyable. I don't think they are. So I'll have to look that up. Because if I can't... Let's see. Ruby. Uh, ruby was a genie once. What? Ooh, she's cute. Who are you, Ruby? I would like to buy you a cheeseburger. She's in Dark Cloud 1. You're not who I wanted. You are now, though. All right, gemstones. Uh, okay, they are buyable. It would cost me 10k to get one. Uh, can't, oh, wait, that's Dark Cloud 1. Uh, Dark Cloud 2, they can be bought from Morton Sundries in Chapter 8. Okay, so Morton Sundries must sell a butt ton of like super rare items once you get to chapter 8 which makes sense hello you stupid child oh you found me I'm getting a bit fed up with this now hiding is actually really boring oh well let's go off to adventure then hooray all right you're living in a straw house and you're gonna have to be happy with it and if a PlayStation trophy pops up that says that I've 100%ed all Georama sites, then we're done with that. Because I do know there is an achievement for it. Oh, wait. The, yeah, the achievements have been popping up. Never mind. Um, Alright, so... Go ahead. This house... What? This house isn't cute. My house has to be brick with a pink roof and a mailbox. Kareen... Kareen. 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 Kareen! Screw you, I'm not making your stupid house. Who else do we have? We've got Julia, right? Alright, Julia, you're in. There you go. Hooray. Done. Alright. So now, that should be all 100%. Yes. Okay, we're good to go. Kareen, you're stuck on the train. I'll be right there in a minute to look at your wares, and then you're going to stay on the train for the rest of your life. Pink hat, brick house, pink roof, and a mailbox. This has got to be cute. The house isn't cute enough. Your face isn't cute enough. Wait. That could be taken wrong. Oh, hello. This place is back to its old self somehow. Well, that's disgusting. Jurek gone. Okay. Thanks, Master Jurek. Unless I had stop on it and we can convert it for the main weapon we've got. It's powerful, but a bit plain. It's not even all that powerful. It's kind of garbage. All right, thanks, buddy. Um, let's see if there are any tiny boxes around here. I forgot about the weapon store as well that opens up. Also, we didn't get the... I didn't get the trophy, I don't think. Let me see. Conf conflict of the past and future, complete chapter five, yeah. So there must be another Georama site somewhere in the game, which is good. I was hoping it wasn't over already. Um, but at least for now we can head upstairs, check out this- Whoa, Max. Check out the weapon store, which I believe just sells really good shit, essentially. 
and a frozen tuna, apparently. Um, bone rapier, powder, I mean, I may as well buy this while I'm here. Because heaven knows I lost a lot of my resources. I should probably run and get more cheese, too. Eh, we're probably okay on cheese. Uh, do, do, do. Grab a little of this. Where did, when the hell did I get an emerald? Or whatever that is. Wind gem. Oh, that's the wind gem. Okay, never mind. Let's not spectrumize that. Ooh, tiny box. Dip, max. Amethyst. Okay. Does that help with smash? Because that's what I need for... Yeah, five points. Better than nothing. So I need for Monica's weapon, so... I'll spectrumize that next time her bracelet comes up. And... Hey! Golden eggs! I believe... The point here is, yeah, you just get gold paint. So you could have gotten that for free rather than buying it. But then you would have had to do all this. Some of this, like, it's possible to do this, to 100% this much earlier. But I didn't have all that stuff revealed and I didn't want to look it up. I just saw it on the FAQ that they mentioned, the writer mentioned that you can 100% this pretty much immediately. You just have to know what the secret question marks are, which I didn't, and I didn't want to look it up. All right, so that's that. Um, I mean, I guess since we're out and about anyway, I really should go get more supplies. So I'm going to restock my cheese, and then I'm going to head to the next dungeon, which I think is Venikio. Yeah, I guess we only have five dungeons. It's not in the original one, so yeah, we'll go to Venikio soon. Oops, I could have moved right to the time gate and forgot. After the last episode, because remember, I record these in one blast. In the la given how long that last episode took, I'm looking at my timer, I'm like, oh shit, I'm up to 15 minutes already. This is gonna take no time at all, in comparison. Might even get a little flying done today. In my, uh, I don't know if anyone cares about this, but in my, uh, per in my flight simulator thing, I'm in New Mexico, so we're well over halfway to all 50 capitals. And I wanted to fly it in the sun because I wanted to see if the game actually made desert. Because it really looks like everything is a little too green where I am, so I didn't think the Rockies were that green but I don't know, maybe they are. All right, stock me up with cheese. Stock me up with water. And I noticed one of my crystals is getting low. Yep, my smash crystals, since I've been using so many of them. Having 30 crystals of each is a nice round number there. And then um, I'm going to sell the gold paint. And... The Starbreaker, I don't want that one. I'll sell the Shamshir, because I wasn't working on it. Um, I don't need the Energy bar Pack Barrel anymore, because I'll upgrade Steve's core as soon as I'm out of here. Okay, so that should be it. So we'll take three cheese for Max. And six cheese for Monica. Resort that. And now we're gonna get the hell out of here. Come on, Max. Exit the door. This is good. If, if there's another Georama thing that I have to do, that means there's at least one more dungeon, which I, I saw the implication there was another dungeon in the game, and it would make sense that there wouldn't be... I, there, there wouldn't be... We wouldn't be on the last dungeon in Chapter 6. There's got to be more to it. So when we get to the next one, then I can start working on some of the other stuff for Max and trying to finish off all his weapons and everything. All right, Max, let's head over to High Marauder, since that's where we left Cedric, and I believe he is in the House of Prominence that 
was initially destined for the love of my life and my soulmate forever. Where is she, anyway? I guess I could move Corrine into one of these. Well, fuck it. I don't care. Fuck Corrine. All right. Yep, there's Cedric. Hey, Cedric. How you doing, buddy? I'm living here now, but I'm worried about Blackstone 1. I'm the one who will keep the train running just like old times. Borneo's a bit heavy-handed. Eric's just a kid. Nothing but homework. Home and work every day for the likes of me. But that's life, eh? I mean, it doesn't have to be, but if you want it to be, then there's nothing wrong with that. There's no dishonor in choosing that as your life. All right. And bam! Oh, that's not even the top core. Holy crap. Um, all right. So now, can I make the samurai arm too? Like, I, that was another thing I wanted to make, but I might not be able to make it because I think I screwed myself out of... No, no, I, all I need is the work crane. Um, okay, I think I can do that from in here. That That's right, that was something I intended to do and never got done when I was going through all my errands a few episodes ago. Ooh, neither of those. Wait a minute, where is the work crane? I thought it was one of those two. Uh, work crane. In future Heimrata, restore the work crane and take a picture of the giant mechanical cranes there on the third floor. Okay. It's getting expensive now, though. Making all these items are... It's really kind of hurting me. Hurting my cash. But after all the grinding I've done to frickin' get frickin' Monica to get her frickin' weapon upgraded, which I still didn't frickin' do, at least I got, like, 20-odd thousand monies, so... We're not poor, but I'll have to do more grinding to uh, get what I need. That's fine. I mean, that's what the game's all about. Okay, third floor. Where is the work crane? That thing? Awesome. Okay, so now... We go here. We move all those ideas in. Great. Yup, delete. Okay, so I need the... Runaway dragon. The weapon and the work crane. And this gets Samurai Arm 2. I want to make two of them. Say cheap. So I always have plenty, but I don't know what it requires. Let's see. Silver Ball. That's not bad. That's doable. I just need 10 Silver Balls. Okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's super doable. All right. <sighs> So I'll need to run back to the train because I think, I think Conda sells them. And if he doesn't, Borneo does, right? I think Borneo does. Because we bought him earlier, right? We bought him for a, we had to buy silver balls for an uncut episode before. And I don't remember why. Anyway, I'll just get 10 and then we'll be good to go. Um, where am I? I'm right by the entrance, okay. I was about to say I wish the entrance was marked a little bit better, but there really doesn't need to be one. I mean, you have an entrance and an exit in every stage. As long as you remember which one is which, you're good to go. Oh yeah, let's go on the train also so we can get hair ornaments for Monica. Just have to find Kareen. Where are you, Kareen? Better not be playing hide and seek on my train. I will throw you off at maximum speed. There you are. Hi, Kareen. Talk to me. Uh, buy hair ornaments. Well, those are cute. Um, let's get that one. Okay. And let's see how that looks on you. 
Okay, so it's just what's on the back of her head. It doesn't change her hairstyle or anything. That's fine. All right, Conda, yes, I do need some Georama elements. I need exactly 10 silver balls, please. Actually, make it 20 so I have some spare. Okay, so now let's make ourselves two Samurai Arm 2s. So now our boy has two machine guns and two melee weapons, so he's got plenty of strength to survive anything. Like, we're not going to run out of weapon hit points while we're in there. Plus, we still have the Nova Cannon. I'd, I'd prefer not to use it. I would pr very much prefer not to use the Nova Cannon. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we have missile pods as well. And we could make a Nova Cannon 2. I think. Nova Cannon 2, Fire Gem Altar, Streetlight the Sun. Okay, so I'll have to get that once we get the Fire Gem. Alright, so I believe that's it for our errands. We have resupplied, restocked. We still have 11,000 left. So I can go into the next floor with a clear conscience. Conscience. <laughs> Good job, Pyro. Good job. I'll still be using Monica for most of this because uh, we want to get her magic up. All right, so that's Balance Valley. And, oh yeah, the first one is going to be just quick and dirty. Oh no, we've been here before. We need to go to the cave. Benicchio, that's right. How many uh, floors am I looking at? Oh, just three. Okay. Doable. Max's right hand weapon only. You got it, game. We're gonna hammer the shit out of these enemies. I'm surprised I haven't finished, done that one. Oh, was that the one where a freaking pirate tank fucked me up because I took a cannonball to the face? I'm gonna hedge my bet on that one. Hold on a minute. Oh, no, wait, I wouldn't be able to... I was gonna say I'll throw a heartthrob cherry at it so it can't do that to me, but I can't do that because that would break the attack and defeat as well. Wow, I am a little surprised that took more than one shot. Oh, shit, I might even level up out of this. Hi, Medusa. Nope. Oh yeah, we'll definitely level the hammer up. There we go. All right, what are we looking at with this? Exorcism only, you got it, Pally. Still not ready for a build up, so it's gonna be a minute. All right, bring it, fish boy. Wow, I'm used to the enemies who are faster, the palace-swapped ones, so this is going to be like... These enemies are a lot slower, I can be a lot more aggressive. They probably can't even do that much damage to me either. I think if you're hit, you are guaranteed to take at least one hit point of damage, no matter how high your defense goes, but... What is happening here? Go down. Okay. Max, work with me here. Oh, I'm hungry. So hungry. Need to get lunch after this. I bought some pasta sauce. Like... I don't usually look at prices too much because I generally know how much things cost. And we went to the grocery store and I wanted to keep my budget under $100. Um, and it was like 140 or 150 something like that. It was really bad. And so I checked my receipt and this pasta sauce I hadn't seen before that I wanted to try, it rang up correctly, but it's $8. $8 for a jar of pasta sauce! That's ridiculous! 
it's not even like an all organic thing because you know organic food's bullshit. So I I was like, why did I spend so much money on this pasta sauce? It better taste. It better be like the most amazing pasta sauce I've ever had because I can get a half decent ragu for like half that price. Ragu isn't super healthy or, you know, it's certainly not gourmet, but man, when you're poor, you're you're not oh god. Uh, can I fix this or is, is Max just permanently frozen? Oh, Medusa tear. There we go. Hello, Zappy. Oh, I forgot about you, Zappy. Hopefully you're having a good day, even though I just hammered you in the face repeatedly. I'm just petting you until you go to sleep. I'm gaining more experience points out of this than I thought I would. Also, the exits are right next to each other. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Come on down here, Zappy. We're just playing. We're just playing, Zappy. Zappy's a great name for, like, a created character. I'm trying to do more goofy names for created characters, and the show's really helping me with that. But I've been doing that a lot with professional athletes when... I play sports games like Madden. I like making, um, I like naming people and characters after food. So my all-star quarterback that I've got in Madden, his name's Blueberry Muffins. It's just lovely for me. It makes me laugh. And remember, the unofficial slogan of the channel is if it makes Pyro laugh, he's probably going to do it. Food is great because it's one of the, ugh. It's It's something that no one can really argue with kind of thing. Like, everyone can get offended about something, but generally when you talk about food, no one gets offended. Um, I guess there is the piety of some vegans who will get upset at the mere mention that hamburgers exist, but those people are very few and far between. That's why jokes about food usually carry so much weight, because people are either going to not care, or they'll get it. That's why Jim Gaffigan, the stand-up comedian, is so popular and hot, because... 95% of his routine is always food, and you can't get mad at food jokes, especially self-deprecating ones where he just talks about how fat he is because he likes bacon too much. Like, you can't get mad at that. <laughs> There's nothing to be offended about. Ow! You damn fish boy. Here, take a hammer to the face. Alright, well, this was not the stage I was thinking of. I don't know why I didn't do the right-hand weapon on this one, unless Max just went down or something. I'd have to go back and check the uncut episode, and <laughs> that's not gonna happen. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it on faith that something went horribly wrong while I was doing this, and whatever, but we should have the medal now. Go ahead, attack me. Come on, you bastard. Attack me! Okay. That should be the metal. Ooh. Ooh. And I got the short white bout time. Fantastic. Oh, jeez. That's one, two, three, four, five shots. Maybe. Oof. It would have to be at least five shots or I don't think I've got a prayer. Um... Where's your club? I haven't done this one, right? I still need it here. Yeah, I still need Svita. Okay. Alright, Max. Five shots, hopefully. Five shots. That's all I got. I can't make any mistakes. Alright, so just like usual, we're going to aim closer to the center of the room so I have a little bit of leeway in case I don't get the distance exactly right. So... Uh, let's say about... there. Okay. 
Hmm, didn't get the distance exactly right. Okay, that's okay. Right now, that's okay. I'm just going to have to bank this shit. Oh, actually, no, we're good. I do have a shot through there. I just need to get to that room. Okay. Um, let's give it a little bit more juice. Good. Okay, preferably we can get it there. Now this one will fucking blast because we need to get it down that hallway as far as possible. Okay, that's not bad. Two shots remain. So the hole is there. Can I bank this off of this? we we'll probably bank it off of this and get it closer to the hole, so let's try it. Okay. Good. So now... Alright. Might be too hard. Oh, it was too hard! If I had taken some English off of it, I would have been able to make it. Oh. You know what? I'm... That might not be a victory, but that was a lot better than I usually do as Fida, so I'll take that one. That one was not bad. That was good effort. Golf clap to Pyro for that one. If I'd had six shots, it would have been easy peasy. Oh. It's all right, Max. We'll get the next one. No worries. All right. Stargate. Let's get this down with the other star key. There we go. I might not worry about monster transformations for the un or for the for this one. I'll probably do it for the I will do it for my personal save, but I uh, may not worry about it for this one, because we're getting close to the end of the game. Alright. A little save, and then we'll come out and resume the cut episode. Has it? It's been 40 minutes already? Holy shit, it hasn't felt like that. Okay. Alright, so we've gone through the Stargate at the crossroads here. We only need three floors before the boss. As before, we'll show you, I'll show you the first floor and then move on. Looks like it's an attack and defeat with only items, which I never do. So instead, we'll take Monica and go magic heavy on this one because I'm still trying to get that bracelet to where I need to build it up. If you didn't watch the uncut, I'll show you exactly what's going on here once we switch to Monica. By the way, I bought her a new little headband, so she's got a little, little half-shell thing going on. All right, so we need to build up her brassard, which is already up to frickin' plus 17, which it should not take me that long, but this is the one I'm shooting for, which is Smash. I have a feeling I need to get Smash up to 100 points before I'm qualified to upgrade this thing. And it's just taking for damn ever to get there. So hopefully we can get there soon, Zombie Pirate. Luckily her sword is ridiculous. As you can see there, um, I actually didn't want to kill him immediately with that. Don't I have the other... Where's your ancient blade? Oh, there it is. Let's see, that needs to get to plus five, which means it'll do it right on this enemy. Yep, there we go. All right, so I'm going to save the antique sword up because I have a plan for it. I need a an indestructible coin before I can finish off that weapon, unfortunately. Blackbeard? Yep, one attack's all I'm going to be able to get. Because the rest of the- Oh my god, he's so fast. That's annoying. Alright, I can just take those shots. It hurts, but I can take them. Or not! Or not! Whoa, Monica. We've got to be a wee bit more careful on those enemies. Holy crap. You can do another one, or is that going to kill him? 
Oh, yeah, good job. Okay. Now lay into him. All right, well done. Ugh, hopefully we get a level out of this, but when you're when you've got a weapon that's freaking plus seventeen. Oh my god, are you serious? When you've got a weapon that's plus 17, it's going to take you forever to get the thing leveled up. There we go. Nice job. There we go. Better than trying to use magic all day on that one. Another turtle? Oh, one of those things. There we go. So far, so good. Looks like I might get a level out of this, but I don't know for sure. Damn, Monica. Whoops. A little rambunctious on that one. Oh, shit. I don't need to do that anymore. So I've got no more swords to work with. Right now, it's all about getting that magic up. And I still don't even know how necessary getting the magic up is because I have a feeling that Monica's sword can do anything I need it to do, as well as Max's gun. I don't know if I've showed off the sexy panther yet, but Max has a gun called the sexy panther, and it is, it is a sexy weapon, baby. So, uh... I uh, might be able to use that as necessary. I don't think Monica's magic is really necessary. Oh, jeez. I'll just use my sword against Blackbeard. Well, that was easy enough. God, Monica, you're so ridiculously strong. All right, what do you need for your weapon? Chill or a bunch of shit? Okay, let's do chill. Uh, four? Wait. Seven? Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot I have ABS powder. So I have this powder that will instantly level a weapon up. And I should have used that on the bracelet as soon as it went up a level. Because I don't want to... I don't want to use any more experience points on it than... Or lose any experience points on it by using it too early. But man, is it a pain in the ass to get this weapon leveled up. Oh, and I'm over 20 minutes. Okay, so we'll stop right here and I'll continue fighting on this floor in the next episode. Probably we'll finish this off pretty quickly and we'll get to the boss of this one and then go from there depending on how long it took. So thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.